In this episode, I will cover proper stance for beginner surfers. And as always, if you missed any of the other previous episodes, go back and watch those first. <laughs> So you figured out how to pop up, now what? Just stand there and shred, right? Well, sort of. Surf stance is a tricky thing because it goes against how your body naturally wants to react to things. A proper surf stance also probably goes against what you've learned in other sports. So if you're getting into surfing later in life, you may already be at a disadvantage because you'll have to break muscle memory. So once you pop up, your knees should stay bent. Don't go stiff, don't stand up straight, You'll just lose balance and speed. Make sure you are bending at the knees and not at the waist. Don't lean too far forward and don't lean too far back. Your feet should be in the center of the board like we discussed during the pop-up. Keep a narrow stance, maybe a little bit smaller than shoulder width, and don't keep your knees apart. If you keep your knees apart, you'll actually end up in the stance that we call the poo stance. It'll just look like you're trying to take a dump out there. So keep those knees pointed forward, almost inward. This is going to help with moving your weight around so you can turn and go where you want to go. Being able to move your hips will help you throw your butt into a powerful turn, or it will allow you to get back fast enough on your weight so that you don't dip your nose in on a steep drop-in. You want those hips loose and in a good position so you can react to what the wave's doing. Now onto your arms. Don't drag your arms below, but don't flail them up over your head either. Keep your arms outside of the rails. Match your front foot with your leading hand. So I'm regular footed, which means my left foot is forward, which means my left hand should be outside my left rail and my right hand should be outside my right rail. An easier way to remember is to look at where your hands are on the board when you pop up. Your hands actually stay on the same side as they were during your pop up. Having your arms on one side of the board is going to make it really hard to balance. Open up your chest, don't have your arms all stiff and close together, and as simple as it sounds, look where you want to go. This is something that often gets overlooked. Your body will follow your head, so look where you want to go. A good stance will take some time to perfect, but knowing what not to do will actually help so you don't create bad habits for yourself. So again, knees bent, knees pointing forward, almost inward, arms outside your rail, chest open, and look where you want to go. If you need any help, tips, or feedback on your stance, feel free to comment below or shoot me an email. And what do you know, we're finally ready to surf. So in the next episode, we'll get you out in the water and go over how to catch waves. Like it's